Shall we begin? Let's begin now. Right, I thought I'd do a quick how I video. Uh, what you're actually looking at now is a little jig that I made up. I love my jigs that I used to make my barbed wire. Now it's nothing fantastic, all it is, it's one piece of 44mm uh, by 18mm by 200 long, piece of batten at the back. The pieces on the end here are just uh, 18 by 28mm, I can't remember how long they are. Uh, 160, 160 mil. They're just screwed at the end, made into a U shape. That's it. The two little brackets inside are optional. I just found them in the drawer, and as I'm an ex builder, it's always uh, belt and braces with me. And at the end, if you can see, we have two of these, uh, I think we call them alligator clips, crocodile clips. They're the ones that we use on the, the spraying small parts. Now they've already got uh, a hole drilled through them. So I positioned it at the end so they're sticking up, as you can see on both sides. Yeah. Screw them down. This screw here, this one here, it's just to stop that from pulling inwards. So you've got one on both sides. It's just to stop that from pulling in. Because this is what I use to pull the wire between these two points. And so you can get to put your barbs on. Right, I shall drop, drop the camera down so you can... S I'll show you how, 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 how I work it. Right, next bit is to get it clamped to your bench and the camera focuses all I do is bring it to the end of my bed, bench clamp and there it is now what you've got is like a little vice and in great uh, Blue Peter fashion here's some wire I prepared earlier now this is just ideal clamp it in this end pull your wire across nice and taut now that's holding your wire so you can put your barbs on so you're not having to hook it onto something it's good and solid and you can work away quite nicely now I'll stop the camera again and I'll move it to a position and I'll show you how I how I use it Right, the next bit is what I'm actually using for my uh, to make my barbed wire. This is jeweler's wire. That's what they make little bits of jewelry with. Now, I find this strong. It's very soft and flexible, and it you need a, quite a lot to actually break this and you can you can twist this around a real lot as you can see that I'm backwards and forwards and it won't well, there it goes then so it does take quite a bit of aggravation now this is great stuff I keep raving on about this because I get this off eBay uh, they do from a zero two right up to a millimetre uh, a mil two I think and mil three so there's a good range it is pennies it's a quid a roll and as you can see you get a lot on it now I've got the whole range I've got from zero to right up to a mil because it is brilliant for everything right that's that bit of plugging done right that's what I'm using for me uh, barbed wire we'll put them to one side tools right uh, I have got 
an old pair of side cutters when the camera focuses, come on. I've glued on the back of it two bits of styrene just to make a gauge. So as I'm going along, I can snip the barbs and they're all gonna be the same. Like I say, this is an old pair of cutters and that's what I've done on there. A pair of flat-ended tweezers. All right, as you can see, there's a little mark on it. Now that's what I use just to gauge as I go along. So I'll go from one spike and then I'll start the next spike to that. Now, everybody has got a, their own view, I think, on how far it should be set apart. And all I'm sort of, sort of showing you is how I do it, not how you should do it. It's just an idea for you to, to sort of like go off and think, well, no, I, I like the gaps a little bit bigger. I want them a bit smaller, but it's just a little bit that, you know, so you can do it. That's it. Right. I'm going to have to stop the camera again and I'll move it and we'll, I'll show you how I do it. Right. As you can see, I've already done a few barbs on there. Yes, they're only single barbs. Now, if you want to, you can do it with two bits of wire to get you four barbs. To me, it's a long drawn out process doing that, but uh, it's up to you how authentic you want to go. To me, when you get this on your wire and it's spooled up, it looks like barbed wire to me. And that's what I do. I do it so I'm happy with what I'm doing. Uh, like I say, I'll stop the camera again. I have to keep stopping it and moving it just so I can keep showing you bits. Right, I've put the camera a little bit further away because I just need that room to work because this is the whole idea of doing this, of making this jig. Now, I only use short bits of wire and the camera's gonna go in and out of focus, but I'll try. I just use this, this end here as something to lean on. And then just take the wire around. I'm trying to do this without knocking the camera because the camera is pretty close. <laughs> and we'll start again. I won't bother cutting this out because there is mistakes made. Up to your mark. Then take that round once. Twice. Three. And I'll go around four times. I'm going to do it and not bother about the camera. Right. And then just put it straight. Now. If you just get your tweezers and your thumb that side, just push them together, and that's it. Then what I do is with my little cutters, cut it off that way. Cut it off. I know I look kick-handed, but because the camera's there, like I say. And then just to finish it off, I get the tweezers, give it a little bit of a squeeze, and it's tight. Now. I'm not going to bother stopping the camera, I'm going to put that down there, I'm going to push the camera down, let's see if we can get it in focus, and there you go, it's as easy as that, <coughs> excuse me, you know, they look to me pretty convincing, but, I mean, if you really want to get spot on, Go to Switcher's channel, he did, about a month ago, he did a well good discussion about the thickness of the wire, uh, right the way down, and it, on there he'll actually sort of, you know, it's, it's all set out for you, what thickness wire you use. And all I'm just trying to show you is a little jig that makes life just a little bit easier uh, to do it. And the great thing about this, you know, if you've had enough, undo it, stick it on the shelf, leave the wire in there. And then, you know, you think, oh, I'll do a bit more. Just bring it down, clamp it to your bench, do a couple of hours. When you've had enough, put it put it away again. And you don't have to take anything apart on it. It's there and it's done. Right, that's about it. I hope it will be useful to somebody. Um, the next one I'm going to do 
is going to be on sandbags. Uh, just how I made them, because I've been making a lot of them. So, that is it. Thanks ever so much for joining me. Bye.